to our previous lessons in chemistry let's continue our lectures on clyden series of videos that is nothing but a uh, chapter 19 in this session we are discussed about a uh, chapter 19 final part in previous cases we are discussed about like a halo halogen attack as well as the stereo specificity of halogenation reactions as well as dihydroxylation formation and uh, cleavage of those dihydroxyl group that is nothing but one two diol cleavages but in this session we are discussed about uh, how to add the one hydroxyl group uh, to alkene okay so simply one hydroxyl group addition so today topic is one hydroxyl group addition one hydroxyl group addition so this how how to add the one hydroxyl group uh, with the different different reagents now let's take the simple example so this is the exocyclic double bond so here in the presence of water sorry water in the presence of acid so in case of like a uh, electromerization uh, like electromeric effect uh, the bonded to electrons are shifted towards the right side that gives the more more stable car uh, carbocation that's why it shifted towards the right side now it becomes a negative it is positive that negative ion will obstruct the proton and it forms the like a ch3 and a positive over here so that is the more stable carbocation more stable carbocation that more stable carbocation the nucleophile attack over the more stable carbocation and it forms the like a hydronium ion hydronium ion that hydrogen hydronium ion will lose the proton will lose the one of the proton and it becomes our final derivatives ch3 oh ch3 oh here it is the olefin so olefin means here ending is ch2 it is hydrogen okay so here it is the ol olefin so one end is attacked by the oh and another end is attacked by the h plus okay so simply it is on the simple example regarding to the addition of one hydroxyl group to alkene addition of one hydroxyl group on alkene so this is the simplest example here. simplest example so addition of water in presence of acid to a simple alkene we will get the like only one hydroxyl group but uh, this is the some of the case like here it is the oh that oh on heating in presence of uh, strong acids we will get the oh okay so it may be quite uh, it may be quite reversal reaction it may be quite a reversal elimination reactions whether this elimination reaction takes place or the addition of water reaction takes place these two are the compete to each other so that competition will give the more confusion that's why this is not preferential method to add the one hydroxyl group on alkene okay so uh, uh, to overcome these uh, these kind of confusions uh, now we use the one of the transition metal then it gives the more efficient uh, one hydroxyl group addition to alkene so that is nothing but a, like a transition metal of mercury transition metal of mercury i think it is clear so simple hydro uh, simple hydration is not favorable so instead of simple hydration we are discussed about uh, like a uh, transition metal elements that is a uh, process is nothing but oxy mercuration oxy mercuration the simple thing here it is the olefin which can treated with mercury in in plus 2 oxidation state it forms the like a uh, this type of uh, intermediate hg plus 2 okay so shall you remember uh, the halon halonium ion formation that is a uh, alkene treated with the halogen so it forms the halonium ion as a intermediate okay so if bromine is taken the bromonium ion is formed if chlorine is taken then we will get the like a chromonium like a chromium ion like a chloronium ion okay so instead of bromine and uh, chlorine so here we take the mercury we will get the mercurinium ion so simple thing mercurinium ion okay so this is the uh, like a similar reaction to the like our halogen okay so let's take the a simple example for uh, better understanding of uh, oxy mercuration here it is the olefin so in uh, hg plus 2 was taken in the form of uh, hg oac taken twice hg oac taken twice now let's move on to the mechanism so here olefin so which can treated with uh, hg oac hg oac that is hg in the form of uh, plus 2 so this uh, this side of uh, like a uh, transformation will gives the more stable carbocation here it gets the negative charge that negative charge attack over the mercury and one of the group is eliminated so then the a pair of electron will shift it towards the like a uh, carbocation and it forms the our desired our desired simply 
to OAC positive charge. Final attack will be used the positive charge. Our desired mercurinium ion. Our desired mercurinium ion. So then after the addition of water molecule, so here water was taken in the in form of solvent, so that is a, the more concentration will be available. So the presence of water, so will attacks the sterically more crowded side. Can you note that point? Sterically more crowded attack. Okay. So this sterically more crowded attack will opens the mercurinium ion and it forms the like here O H H plus and here H G O S H G O S simple thing okay so here hydronium ion is there that hydronium ion loss of water molecule will use the simple hydroxyl group and H G O S this is the simple addition of one hydroxyl group till here it having the mercury in the compound okay so the separation of mercury is uh, another competition okay so now here one hydroxyl group is added to be our alkene but here that hydroxyl group which still contains mercury atom so uh, until this process is the mercuryation until this process is the mercuryation now here we need to remove the that mercury group that mercury removal of mercury by using the very simple reactions so the removal of mercury by using the very simple hydrate transfer reaction that is H minus. So here the H minus uh, it is a like a soft one that uh, easily replaces the like our mercury and we will get the OH and OH here H simple thing okay simply here it is nothing but CH3. So finally we will get the our final product so this process is called as a demercuriation. Okay, so the final overall product of monohydroxylation on molyphene, simply it is called as oxymercuration on the demercuration. Oxymercuration on demercuration. The demercuration reagent is uh, NaBH4, hydrate transfer uh, reducing agent. Hydrate transfer reducing agent. I think it is clear. Okay, so this is the a simplest reaction for the oxymercuration and the demercuration process. Okay, so here more substituted uh, side OH group is added. That is uh, simply it follows the Markovnikov's rule. Simply it follows the Markovnikov's rule. Okay, so oxymercuration and demercuration it follows the Markovnikov's rule. Okay, now let's move on to the some of the examples regarding to the these oxymercuration. Let's take the one of the example. Okay. So here it is the compound which can treat it with uh, our HgOAC taken twice followed by the H2O. This is the first content. Now the second content is NaBH4. So now we will get the like uh, instead of this type of compound, we will take the like uh, whatever the compound doesn't matter. Okay, so we'll take the whatever the compound. Okay, let's take this type of compound. Here, less number of hydrogens and more number of hydrogen. Less number of hydrogens, that is more steric groups. So the more steric groups favors the OH group addition. So that is the Markovnikov addition. That is the Markovnikov addition. We'll get the these kind of uh, like a more substituted wolfine, more substituted wolfinic side OH group is added. That is the Markovnikov rule. Negative part attack to the less number of hydrogens. That is the statement of Markovnikov. So which clearly satisfies that. Okay. So oxymercuration and demercuration which follows the Markovnikov addition. Markovnikov addition. So this is the first one. So again, oxymercuration and demercuration will also favors the alkynes. Now let's discuss the, those alkynes oxymercuration formers. Okay, so now let's follow the final thing that is nothing but alkynes oxymercuration. Alkynes oxymercuration. So this is the alkyne, so which can treat it with the Hg, OAC taken twice. So here it forms the like a mercurinium ion OAC. Okay, this is the mercurinium ion. So that mercurinium ion, which is uh, attacked by the nucleophile, that is water, at a sterically more crowded side. OH. Okay, here OH2. So now double bond. And uh, Hg OAC simple thing. Uh, however, it is written doesn't matter. Hg OAC Hg OAC. So then here it gets the positive charge. It gets the positive charge. The loss of H 
uh, H plus, the loss of H plus will give the, the complete product uh, HgOAC. Here it is the double bond. Here it is the double bond, and HgOAC is present. Hg OAC is present until this is the simple thing alkyne which can be treated by the mercury will, will get the this kind of compound this kind of compound it may be possible for the keto enol tautomerization so simple thing it is the uh, like uh, ene so ene attached to the OH group ene plus alcohol is ol so ene plus ol simply it is called as enol so that enol is uh, uh, very unstable which can readily participate the keto, keto enol tautomerization so then it forms the like a ketone form. So here it is in the form of uh, enol. This can undergoes the keto enol tautomerization in this step. So that in this step here it is the negative charge. That negative will abstract the proton from acidic one. So here first proton transfer takes place. Or C double bond O Hg OAC. Okay, here the negative charge will abstract the proton and it creates the neutrality and it creates the neutrality. Now here keto enol tautomerization takes place. Simply it is a keto enol tautomerization or either proton abstraction. Both are same. So now here we will discuss the like proton abstraction. Proton abstraction. Still here it having the mercury group. Still it having the mercury group. So that is the controversy. Okay. So here for example HgOAC is there. So either in the form of uh, like hydronium ion either in the form of a hydronium ion that is a H2O or like a water it contains the hydronium ion so a simple things a simple mild reducing agents also which can uh, remove the our mercury okay simple mild basis also reduces the our mercury that means removes the our mercury now here OH this is the double bond still here also it is the like a Enols that the enols can undergo the keto enol tautomerism or proton abstraction. Now we will get the, these kind of carbonyls, these kind of carbonyl compounds. Okay, whatever the compound, finally alkynes mercuration will use the carbonyl compounds. Alkynes mercuration will use the carbonyl compounds. Now let's take the another example. I think it is clear. So alkynes mercuration will use the mercury in ion. So then followed by the nucleophilic attack uh, at more crystallic crowded site. So after that keto enol tautomerism or proton uh, proton transfer, we will get the ketone. This ketone which contains mercury, that mercury was uh, removal by the like mild basis. Then we will get the final carbonyl compounds. Final carbonyl compounds. Now let's take the simple example. Before going to the second one, now let's discuss the simple example. Okay, here it is the acetylene. Acetylene treated with NaNH2 and RBN. So NaNH2 is base, it abstracts the proton from acetylene. So that negative charge will, will attach the electrophilic center of alkyl bromide and creates the R. So this is the alkylated alkyne preparation, okay, alkyne. So here it is the alkyne preparation. So then which is treated with HgOAC taken twice, HgOAC taken twice. Here it is OH is attacked, that's a simple thing. Here OH is attacked, that will undergo the like keto and tautomerization. We will get the methyl ketones. This is the methyl ketone. Methyl ketones preparation from like termi terminal alkynes. Terminal alkynes. This terminal alkynes was prepared by the organometallic reagents. So that is a uh, OMC Grignard or uh, Gilman. Those kind of organometallic reagents. Okay. So uh, two things are discussed. One is uh, mercuriation on alkenes that will use the like a corresponding uh, monohydroxyl product, and alkenes will use the like a carbonyl compounds. Especially terminal alkenes will use the methyl ketones. Okay. So this is the one method. But uh, not only transition metals some non transition metals can also use the like a uh, monohydroxylation but with a different stereochemistry okay shall we discuss uh, another one that is the second one okay so for example here it is the compound so this is the simple styrene so here it is the methylated styrene okay so can you use the our reagent that is a uh, mercury okay mercury followed by the demercuration we will get the product so here it is the phenyl we will get the product is more substituted one more substituted one okay but uh, if there is any possibility to create the OH group at a terminal position so that is the quite opposite of the Markovnikov rule that is nothing but a uh, uh, anti Markovnikov product if there is any possible okay so mercuriation will use the like a Markovnikov product but uh, some of the times we required anti Markovnikov product that is our bad luck okay let's imagine so our bad luck is there so then uh, 
now I want to prepare the like anti marconica product which is the suitable reagent which is the suitable reagent now shall look down the those anti marconica reagent that is hydroboration hydroboration so many of the uh, common hydroboration reagents are used those are the best uh, best one is a 9 BBN 9 bora by side clo no name as well as uh, IPC uh, isophenyl campanyl iso and campanile boranes that is a uh, chiral boranes okay so those kind of uh, textile boranes dcml boranes those are the very interesting boranes commonly used in the uh, uh, like a uh, advanced synthesis of organic okay so these are the hydroboration reaction uh, let's take the simple reaction how it is possible for the hydroboration this is the like a uh, cyclopentene which can treat it with bh3 so boron having the vacant orbital okay boron having the vacant orbital so this is the like a uh, pentane which can treat it with a uh, hydroboration okay now here it having the vacant orbital okay so the alkene nucle alkene pair of electrons which uh, pushes towards the vacant orbital of boron the alkene electrons the alkene electrons which pushes towards the boron and it creates the carbon boron carbon boron bond then the bonded two electrons will transfer to the wolfine will transfer to the wolfenic carbon okay now here it is a hydrogen here it is the boron with two hydrogen boron with two hydrogens simply here hydrogen is added and boron is added this kind of process is called as hydroboration this kind of process is called as hydroboration this is an example of the best example of hydroboration so the both the groups are added same side so the until the process of hydroboration it is uh, follows the syn addition it follows the syn addition okay so two groups added on the same side that is nothing but syn addition okay this is the simple example of hydroboration hydrogen and bor boron addition okay uh, some of the competition is there if uh, that is cyclopentene is the symmetrical one uh, both the sides uh, it is possible but in case of unsymmetrical one where it is boron is added okay so here it is the hbr2 sorry bh3 where it is uh, boron is added okay so the boron added at a sterically less crowded site the boron added at sterically less crowded site so that gives the more stable carbocation let's imagine so here it is the like a uh, olefin that creates the negative charge at the terminal position and positive charge at the like a uh, normal position so the terminal negative charge will attacks the boron vacant orbital then still it having the more stable carbocation so that will give the uh, more stability that's why hydroboration the boron addition favors the sterically less crowded side in case of unsymmetrical one in case of unsymmetrical one now the third thing the first thing is sim a simple one now the second one is unsymmetrical one the third thing is had uh, like a degree of hydroboration degree of uh, hydroboration so simply the degree of hydroboration is mainly based on the number of hydrogens present at boron number of hydrogens present at boron if our boron having the only one hydrogen like in the form of a 9 bbn it, it having the only one hydrogen then the degree of hydroboration is one so if our boron having the two hydrogens our boron having the two hydrogens then the degree of boration is two so if our boron having the three hydrogens th that is the best example is bh3 now we get the degree of hydroboration is three hydroboration is three so now let's take the one of the simple example regarding to the hydroboration of a degree of hydroboration here it is the bh3 which can treat it with a, a simple olefin so here it forms the like terminal addition bh2 again here hydrogen is there that's why one one more mole of uh, olefin is treated then here it creates the boron like this okay again the one more hydrogen is present that is also treated with another one so now we will get the these kind of compounds okay this kind of uh, uh, trialkylated boron is present trialkylated boron is present so this type of alkylated boranes cannot uh, treated uh, cannot gives the like much more uh, reactivity now let's move on to the how it is formed as alcohols okay now let's just turn to the formation of alcohols this is the introduction of borons hydroboration now let's turn to the alcohol preparation i think it is clear the hydroboration is a syn addition the final overall thing is Hydroboration is the syn addition again it, uh, unsymmetrical one it favors the sterically less crowded that is the terminal ones now the third one is uh, based on the number of hydrogen presence on boron it is a uh, degree of uh, degree of hydroboration is deviated okay 
uh, but uh, originally we can look out the other thing that is nothing but uh, alcohol formation alcohol formation okay now how it is forms the alcohols simple example according to the other mentioned mentioned example this is the simple one so which can treat it with a uh, uh, boration that is the like a mono hydroborated one so here it forms the hydroboration product hydroboration product this hydroboration which can treat it with the h2o2 in presence of basic medium h2o2 in presence of basic medium so that base will, uh, will abstract the proton from uh, hydrogen peroxide and it creates the h2o minus that h2o minus will attacks the uh, vacant orbital of our uh, boron site so here it is the phenyl b okay now can i write the those compound over here so phenyl boron so here it is r groups two r groups are there r r again one more uh, addition is taking place that is o o h h o o minus that is uh, added at uh, boron now here the excess of bonds will create the negative charge excess of bonds will create the negative charge so the negative charge containing the boron is very unstable so this instability so due to the, this instability it is uh, it undergoes the one type of uh, migration one type of uh, like a uh, migratory insertion okay so it can attack the oxygen and it is eliminated now it produces this type of material oxygen okay so that oxygen which contains boron r r okay again by using the like a uh, small bases so which attacks the boron and it creates the negative charge on oxygen okay so phenyl o minus in the presence of h plus which can easily convert into alcohol so this is the our desired product so that is our desired anti markovnikov product desired anti markovnikov product i think it is clear okay so mercuryation will gives the markovnikov addition product and uh, hydroboration will gives the anti markovnikov product hydroboration followed by the like h2o2 peroxy addition okay i think it is clear so the first of all it addition as a hydroboration that is a syn addition followed by the h2o2 and basic medium will gives the negative complex that negative is uh, very unstable due to the its instability alkyl groups are shifted towards the ox uh, like uh, oxygen so then uh, oh group is eliminated now here it creates the like uh, alkoxy boronates so that will uh that will reduce the in the form of a base in presence of base it is cleaved and now it forms the oh now it forms the oh this, this is the final overall thing okay so in case of oxymethylation that is markovnikov addition like a hydroboration followed by the peroxide that is anti markovnikov addition these two things are discussed in this class okay so let's uh, conclude the overall chapter okay now just uh, just two minutes i'll finish the overall conclusion regarding to the chapter 19 okay so uh, what 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 we are discussed in this chapter okay let us conclude very simple thing this is the olefin okay can i write over here so this is the olefin so which can treat it with a uh, like a o3 followed by the simple uh, simple reducing agent mild reducing agent who will gets the this type of uh, carbonyl compounds that is the ozonolysis okay so this is also in a, in a type of uh, uh, one two diol cleavage again so instead of o3 we can treat it with a uh, like hio4 it is also that is a, a type of cleavage that is also a type of cleavage so uh, don't go for this uh, similarity okay now let's treat it with osmium tetroxide it forms the syn diols it forms the syn diols again so in presence of mcpba that is the epoxide formation it forms the like epoxide above the plane epoxide again here the above the plane epoxide will treated with a simple bases can write here in presence of or minus which can use the like a, this is the above the plane oh and here it is the sorry this is the above the plane oh and here it is the below the plane or so instead of uh, a or minus we can treat it with nhr2 here also we get the transfer here it is the above the plane oh here it is the 
nr2 that is the transfer okay so this is the epoxide epoxide as intermediate or in the presence of halonium ion is intermediate halonium ion as intermediate here also two types one is or minus so that will also will gives the trans product br so here or or in the presence of br uh, another br as a like a dihalogenation dihalogenation here also it gives the anti addition here also it gives the anti addition okay so these are the simple things again in this class we have discussed a very simple thing that is the hbr2 h br2 will gives the these kind of these kind of product then followed by the h2 o2 followed in alkali medium we will get the alcohol okay or hg oac followed by the nabh4 here we will get the simple olefins simple olefins it is symmetrical one and that's why we will get the both are the same or in the presence of hbr in the presence of h plus here it creates the carbocation followed by the br minus a dark so it gives the like a mono substituted bromine mono substituted bromine the overall chapter contains these things only okay so like ozone analysis which gives the uh, final uh, carbonyl compounds and osmium tetroxide syn diodes mcpba will gives the epoxide followed by the some of the nucleophilic addition it gives the anti compounds okay so either here in, instead of or minus we use the oh minus we will get the trans diodes trans diodes now here or minus and the br minus in presence of a halonium ion here also we will get the trans one okay so here bromonium ion and uh, epoxides uh, as many of the intermediates okay so instead of uh, those those kind of materials here hydroboration and mercuryation as well as uh, halogenation hydrohalogenation these are also a process of uh, uh, electrophilic addition to alkenes okay i think overall electrophilic addition to alkene was uh, summarized in the single table again one more thing is so the top top reagents okay top reagent alkene gets alkenes gets oxidized so here so the oxidation state of alkene is uh, increased that's why alkene gets oxidized in the bottom one there is no change there is no change in their oxidation state their oxidation state i think it is clear okay so very simple things so ozone analysis osmium tetroxide epoxide formation halonium ion as well as uh, hydroboration oxymercuration uh, hy uh, hydrohalogenation these are the simple electrophilic addition on alkenes i think the chapter 19 is over now i'll come with another chapter of uh, organic chemistry until take care thank you so much for watching